In this video, I'm going to walk you through the script on my blog uh, that uses uh, the jQuery library full calendar along with rest to read tasks from a SharePoint online task list and then display those tasks uh, in the full calendar jQuery library so that you can use this library to create your own custom calendar views uh, in SharePoint. So uh, right now I've got my, my web page opened up to the fullcalendar.io site. I highly recommend you go there and review the site and uh, go to the documentation. The documentation, there's just a ton of documentation there and we're only going to scratch the surface of what you can do with full calendar in my script. So if you have questions about customizing the calendar, the way it looks, uh, adding different information to it, check out the documentation. Use Google. There's a lot of uh, people who are asking questions about this library. It's a very active library. Um, so feel free to dig into it and learn something about it before you before you really start to use it. So we'll just jump right in. Uh, here in my SharePoint site, I'm in SharePoint Online, in my site assets library, I have uploaded the script that is available at uh, GitHub with the link in the description of the video and in my blog. And uh, that file is called spfullcalendar.js. So if we look at that file, you can see that uh, this file is, the script is basically going to take a uh, an out of the box task list and then just turn it into a calendar view and then when a user clicks on one of the events it's going to open up that event in the display form and then also you can uh, drag and drop events to change the due date so let me update this script because I need to give it the path to my site um, so that the actual work for the display form here so let me just replace this with the path to my site and save it. So that's the only change I had to make for this script to make it work in my site. Give it the path to my site and use an out of the box task list with the name of tasks. Okay, if you're using a different list name, you would just set this variable task list to the name of your list. So now I can come into my site pages. I can add a new web part page and I will call this page calendar and we'll get that created. And now I can add a web part to this page. And we're going to add a media and content, content editor web part. And we are going to edit this web part and then link it to our script that is in the site assets library. So that was in site assets full sp full calendar dot js so we'll apply that and you can see that uh, our task list gets rendered as a calendar view and if we actually look at the task list so here's my tasks list it's just an out of the box task list for SharePoint online where we have task names we have due dates start dates and the person that's assigned to uh, along with the description and that is what's getting rendered in our view here. Uh, some things you get right off the bat, you can change months and it will actually display the, 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 the dates for those months. You can do a week view if you'd prefer. You can do a day view. So there's some cool functionality you get out of the box with it. Um, so let's jump in the script and let's change a few things so you can see how that works. So currently you see that all of the uh, tasks are in red. Well, if I go into the script and I change the color right now that color is set to red but let's say I just change it to blue because I want the color to be blue and I save that and reload the page you can see that those tasks get rendered as blue so, right, so that's that's how you could easily add some logic to your script if you wanted to maybe check on a status or um, the de department or some other metadata whenever you pushed that event to be displayed, you would just specify a different color for that specific event. So you can add all sorts of logic here to change the coloring for each different events. Each of each event doesn't have to be the same color is what I'm saying by that. The other things I've done is that I've attached to the click event. So when someone clicks on one of these events, it is going to basically just open up the display form for that event. And then I also attach to the event drop 
uh, event. So if someone drags an event, I wrote this function called update task, and the update task function simply updates the due date using REST uh, using the date that the person dropped the event on. So if we come back to our calendar here and we just click on one of these events, you can see it will take us to the display form for that event. And then if I go back and let's just change the due date of this task from the 8th to the 6th, you can see it reloads and that due date has been changed to the 6th. So if I click on it, to view it, you can see the due date was changed to the 6th. So those are just some of the out-of-the-box features that I've done with it. And like I said, dig into the documentation because there's a lot of cool things you can do. Let's say that you are you don't have as much space on your page, so you want the, the, the calendar to be smaller, and you want to say, let's maybe get rid of the weekends because you don't want to show Sunday and Saturday. Well, there's actually an option for that. You can simply just come into the code and add a parameter to your full calendar call that says weekends false save that and now when you reload the calendar it only shows Monday through Friday so again dig into the documentation there's a ton of stuff there um, this is pretty much just a straightforward example of using this with the out-of-the-box task list so yeah, uh, look at the script, look at how I did the rest queries, uh, how I'm looking using the start dates and end dates on the calendar uh, to give my rest query to only return events during that time period. You can also see how I'm doing an update with Rust um, and a few other things. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope you get in there and dig around in and, and learn something. Thanks.